Hey, everybody. Uh, to get started, I just wanted to talk a little bit about some accounting basics. Uh, so basic, in fact, that it's called the basic accounting equation, or sometimes you'll hear it called the fundamental accounting equation. Uh, and the equation is that assets equal liabilities plus equity. Assets are stuff that the business owns. It could be things like cash, or it could be things like vehicles or buildings. Those are all assets. And we'll talk a little bit more about what other assets in just a moment. Uh, liabilities are debts that the business owes. Uh, and then equity is the owner's share of the business. And so what we want to kind of come to understand by looking at this fundamental or basic accounting equation is that the assets, everything the business owns, uh, was either paid for through debt or borrowing or through equity, what the owners put into the business or what the business itself earned. So just to give you a little more specifics on what each of these things are, assets, like I said, is stuff the business owns. So that can include cash, accounts receivable, which is money that our customers owe us. That usually comes up when we give people time to pay us, like we do some work for them and say, hey, pay us in 30 days. Prepaid assets where we pay in advance for things. It's very common to do that with insurance, sometimes with rent, land, buildings, equipment, vehicles. Uh, and then intangible things like patents or copyrights, those things that have value, um, but aren't as tangible or easy to sort of put your hands on as like, uh, you know, you can stand on land, but a patent, you know that that gives you the right to something that you've invented, uh, but it doesn't necessarily like, it's, you, you can't really like stand on it like you can a piece of land. So that's what we call them intangibles. Um, so assets, the stuff we own, equals our liabilities or our debts. There's a list of them there. Accounts payable um, means usually when our supplier allows us to pay them. So money we owe to our suppliers uh, at a, a later date, uh, they'll give us stuff and then we'll pay them later. Payroll liabilities are those debts that come up as our employees work. Um, and then we owe them for the, for the work they've done. Usually most businesses only pay their employees every two weeks. And yet each time a person works, we owe them money. So that's a payroll liability. Um, and then we'll pay that off on payday uh, each two weeks. Notes and bonds payable are more long-term debts, like when you borrow for a car or for a building or something like that. And finally, unearned revenue is when someone pays you in advance for work you're going to do later. Uh, the reason it's a liability or a debt is because when someone pays you in advance, you then owe them for uh, the money they've paid you. I'm sorry, they, you owe them the services they paid you for or um, you're going to owe them their money back, one or the other. Um, and then finally, equity is the owner's share of the business. And this happens one of two ways. One is that owners contribute money to the business. In a corporation, we call that stock. So if you've ever heard of buying stock, that means you are contributing capital or money into a business. In a smaller business, like a sole proprietorship or a partnership, uh, we call that the owner's investment, uh, just money put in by the owners, or sometimes you'll see it as partner's investment in a partnership. And then earned capital, that's the money the business earns by operating, by doing its regular business. Um, that's earned capital, and we typically call that retained earnings. And that leads us to the expanded accounting equation, which is assets equal liabilities plus equity, just so that was our regular basic or fundamental accounting equation. Um, but then we know that equity equals our contributed capital plus our earned capital. And just like I said before, contributed capital is money put in by the business to the business by the owners, stock for corporations, uh, or an owner's investment or contribution uh, for a smaller sole proprietorships, partnerships. Uh, and then earned capital is, like I said before, money earned by the business. We call that retained earnings, which is our revenue, which is the money we earn from selling stuff, minus expenses, which is the cost uh, we incur from operating our business, minus the dividends. And dividends are the amount. Um, that the business owners take out as compensation for owning the business. Uh, and so our expanded accounting equation then is that our assets equal our liabilities plus our stock plus our revenue minus our expenses minus our dividends. So I hope this gives you a little bit of a better understanding of how all of these terms or what they mean, I guess, and how they're interrelated. And I hope that um, you have a great day.